Christy Taylor. Go on, you're finished. Now Taylor Tilton is in the building. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the Taylor Tilton Hour. You're with yours truly, Taylor Tilton of The Blend, where legends live. Today's theme is an 80s show. I have tickets to give away to the classic R&B and funk tour. That's Saturday, June 18th, a couple of weeks from now at the Showplace Arena at the Agri Center. And you can register to win a ticket for you and a ticket for your guests by going to my website at www.tinatilton.com. Let me tell you once again, who's on this ticket. The concert features Uncle Larry, Larry Dotson, Memphis's very own. The Mary Jane Girls, we have Climax, we have Yarbrough and Peoples, we have Brick, and today, Time has revealed for me to introduce today's guest. She's the sister of the Hitmaker family group. She's none other than Bunny Dibarge. Welcome to the Hi, game, Miss Dibarge. <laughs> I am good, thank you. Look, it looks like you're traveling. Let me see. Oh yeah, you're traveling. You're going yes, somewhere. Yes, I am. I'm with my sister and my little nephew back there. Oh, I'm trying to hey, keep them hey. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the beauty of, of virtual liveness. So welcome. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm so grateful to be in this space. Well, listen, I and, and it, it though, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I have something in common, Bunny DeBarge. What is that? You are the oldest of 10 of the DeBarge children. Yes, and I'm the oldest I too. I did not know you were the oldest. You got to explore one of them boys world. <laughs> I said, certainly one of those boys is the oldest. Lord, you have brother after brother after brother for I me. Have eight brothers after me. <laughs> Yes, I That's do. a lot. For me, it's only three of us. So I'm the oldest of three, but you're the oldest of ten. I said, oh my gosh. Oh my yeah. goodness. And, and and also you were named after after your mommy, right? Yes. I'm Adeline Jr. Adeline. <laughs> you said junior. <laughs> junior. <laughs> yes, I'm the second, whatever you want to call me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <laughs> well, where did the name Bunny come from then? Um when I was little, but well, first of all, when you have a name like Adeline, you gotta have <laughs> you gotta have a nickname. You gotta have another name, a second name. Bunny. Yeah, there was a big rabbit, and I was born near, um, I guess Easter at the time. My birthday is March the tenth, and I guess Easter was coming up, and I loved that big rabbit, so they started calling me Bunny. Thank God. Oh wow, that is so <laughs> funny. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Now, now I know your family struggled with sexual and physical abuse, but according to your bio, music was your comfort. Yes, it was. Yeah. Um, I don't know what we would have done without music. Uh, you know, when we were down, when, you know, um, mom and dad were gone or things were going on in the family or whatever, um, we would get in the window and sing in the fan or... Um, Mama taught us to do little harmony parts, but uh, before we did even harmony parts, everybody had their own little thing that they did. Tommy had his, Bobby had his, and um, so we uh, we formed a group later. You know, um, Mom formed a group later. I was the first to sing because I'm the oldest, and mm -hmm. only that. Bobby didn't sing for a long time because his daddy sounded like a girl. <laughs> but eventually, he got over that. Yeah, but we were always doing little songwritings and stuff from an early age. When I think about it now, we were very young. Yeah, yeah. You're saying ten, and 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 were you ten or no, no ten? No, was with I the started bunny. singing when I was five, oh, and ooh. then um, I was like about mm, uh, maybe nine, mm -hmm. eight or nine or something when when we got in the group. It was me, Bobby, Tommy, Randy, Marty, and that yeah. was it. I'm the oldest of the first five, and Elsie oldest of the second five, and then we kind of like skipped around, you know. <laughs> Not a dull moment in that house, huh? <laughs> Not a dull moment. They used to call our house the fun house. I bet. Well, well, the bio said that you and, and you just mentioned as well that you and Elle formed a group, and, and then you brought James along, shortened the name to DeBarge. But but I was like, well, what did the name get shortened from? It didn't say what your name. The used DeBarges. To be. The, the, oh, the DeBarges. The DeBarges. Yeah, my very first album was the DeBarges. And then, um, you know, I got shelved and, and, and we added James in. I got shelved because we got outside management. And uh, at the time, they wanted everything in-house. So uh, we did the album and they didn't really take the album anywhere. But we took songs off of that album and um, put them on those albums that came in the future. Yeah. Like Share My World, Clean My Heart, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're, we're going to get into those songs too. But And by the way, you that are watching, if you have any questions or comments for the legendary Bunny DeBarge, or should I say this, this way, that way, Bunny DeBarge, then feel free to uh, hit us up in the comment section because she will be in Memphis, Tennessee, Saturday, June 18th at the Showplace Arena for the Classic R&B and Punk Tour. Man, this is going to be fun, Bunny. But yes, okay, it is. So, so give, give me all of the songs now. Give, or should I say, give me the timeline of these hits that you co-wrote, such as okay, All This Love and In A Special this. Way. Um, I did Friend in the Sky. That was before our al before the album even came out for the bars. I did Friend in the Sky with Bobby. I did uh, Love Me Over and Over with Bobby. This Is My Dream. Um, ooh, a couple more. Why'd You Let Love Fall? Uh, um, uh, I think it's some more. It was so long ago. I did some work with um, High Energy, Hold On To My Love. Um, then in DeBarge, um, I think the stuff came out in 80, 81. Mm -hmm. um, Time Reveal. Um, okay, on the very first album, You're So Gentle, You're So Kind, What's Your Name? Um, LD, Queen of My Heart. Let's see, uh, second album. <laughs> so you co you co-wrote yes, all of those songs, like honey. Yes, with you. I always had my own, you know, like, song that I did, but then I did I'm In Love With You. I did, um... Um, a dream I did, of course, in else. Yeah, did. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get <laughs> into then, that one. Um, I'm in love with you. Um, I like you. Um, uh, not love me in a special way. Let me see. I like it. What is it? Share my world. <laughs> um, share my world is also mine. And uh, let's see, time reveal. I like it. Stay with me. Um, there's a lot of them I can't think of, <laughs> of them, but yes, I did have a lot of songs. I have a very, very large um, Meet myself. Meet myself. Here we are. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that you co-wrote all of those hits? Yes. Oh my gosh! That's a <laughs> lot! Ah, oh, man, you are, you are super, super creative. But, Thank but, you. so, but time will reveal. Again, according to the bio, it said it had a gospel theme to it. And I wondered, I said, hmm, wh wh where did the gospel theme of Time Will Reveal come from? Give, give me that. In what way is Time Will Reveal gospel? What, how was it gospel? Yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, when we came to Motown, we, we really didn't want to sing secular music because we were from the church. So we wanted to be, we, you know, Andre Crouch was our mentor, and he was like, oh, we were going to light, comp, light, light record company, we did a demo, and um, we were so disappointed because they came back and said they didn't know what to, where to place us. They thought our music was great and all that, but they didn't know where to place us. And that's when we decided Bobby had already been out to California and was in the group switch, and uh, They'll Never Be was out. So what we did was actually we changed, we changed, we didn't change our, um, our music. We just, uh, took it to be, you know, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Um, yeah. So Cause you know, we, we used, used to social out that song. Uh, Al had half his time reveal and me and Bobby came in and we sat down with him and finished it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you hear me? I said, we used to social off that song. You know, they used to call it social and back in the day right <laughs> slow dancing <laughs> yes yes, 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 yes. <laughs> on time reveal yes yeah and then i mean you kind of get get it from um more precious than silver more precious than a diamond rings or anything that i could give you that's like your lord you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> one, one, <Word>. now, <laughs> one viewer wants to know how are your brothers good question yeah. how are one viewer wants to know how are your brothers how are they doing my brothers are good my brothers are good no news is good news to me yeah, <laughs> yeah. i know that's right because it is 10 of y'all but now, now let's get back into you about about the song now uh every girl i must be honest and say she every girl thought that she could sing a dream <laughs> until you hit them high notes I was like, I never, can't do it. I'm out. I used to bag out of it. Were, 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 I mean, did, did you, what's the concept behind that song, period? 
It was like to me when I was in high school. Uh -huh. You know how you used to like a guy and he didn't know you liked him. You know, um, and you kind of like dream about being with that guy. Maybe he was older or something like that, but they didn't know, and you were too um, shy to tell him. Mm -hmm. So I wrote the song from a girl's point of view. That's um, right. That's not our dream that I was here with you. And we were in each other's arms, and it was all so heavenly, you know. Oh, boy. Right here, and um, told me that, you know, then the music stopped, you know. Yes, yes. You either see there with another girl. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> Or, you know, you're all alone again. You're all alone in your thoughts. You're all yeah. alone. In, so that's how I wrote the song. Yeah, lovely, lovely. 19, uh, I believe it was 85, Rhythm of the Night received a crossover hit. How, how, how Rhythm of the Night was not written by us. And it was a song that I guess that it was like a politics thing that we go, um, the Michael Jackson would move out the way for us. You know what I'm saying? We got to the second, but Michael would move. <laughs> So, what song was Michael? But, what song was Michael holding from y'all? Rhythm about the night was written by Diane Warren, and um, we song uh, we sung it. It was a song written. I guess they wanted a song from off of All Night Long. Remember that song by? Um, oh yes, Lionel of Richie. course, Lionel Richie. Uh huh. Yes. So they they went from there and wrote us Rhythm of the Night. Okay. Well, hey, still classic and a hit. And again, if you want to see yes. Rhythm of the Night yes. and you want to see Bunny perform any of these hits that she's co-written, y'all, she named about 20 of them, then <laughs> your chances happen in a couple of Saturdays from now, June 18th at the Classic R&B and Funk Tour. Four children, 15 grandchildren. And, and didn't you marry early? You got married early too? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was married when I went to California. You guys, I got a book out. And my book is called yeah, the Kept Ones. The Kept Ones. And it's Kept mm -hmm. Ones 1 and 2. And um, the first one is of my childhood on to up to when we, move, when we go to California. And then the second one is the fame years, the, the problems we had in the industry, um, the people we met in the industry. And then the third one, which is coming out very soon, um, is going to be me summing it all up. Um, my brother's death, my father's death. And if you read the first one, you would understand. Okay. And that's what I was surely about to ask. Uh oh, we got a little frozen. We got a little frozen that's going on. Ah, and I know she's in the car and she's driving. Again, you guys, keep in mind, uh, there she is. There she is. Okay, because we, we got frozen for just a split second in time there. But the autobiography, uh, like you just mentioned, the kept ones. Give me one thing in, in the first book that, that many of us may not know, though you need to buy it. But give give us something that we may not know about your 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 family and uh, in the autobiography. That you may not know, okay? That we may um, not know. That's in the book. That I have um, half sisters. <laughs> Mm. Half sisters and a brother. I, know that. I don't talk about my brother in the book because we just now found him. But um, uh, we learned that we have half sisters, and I thought I was the only girl. And so Peaches was Peaches is uh, 15 years younger than me. So uh, I wasn't raised with them, but I have. I was very very happy when I found my sisters. Yeah, I bet. Now you have someone to share hair and makeup with. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> as as I, saw him, I took him. I, I bathed him. I dressed him. They're much younger yeah. than me. DJ was yeah. like um, seven years younger. Seven years younger. Five years yeah. younger than me, and Alice is six years younger than me. But um, made a big difference back then. Now we made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. Your family was on on song. How much of that story, or how much of the input in the storyline did you have? How much of the input in the storyline? What? Uh, on unsung, did you have? We had a lot of input on the unsung. Okay. A lot of input on that. Um, I think most of the unsung, I have to go back and look at it, but I think I'm narrating, 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 the, <laughs> most narrating. of the unsung. Um, <laughs> yeah. We were the very first ones to do an unsung, so we set the, you know, uh, the motion for where, you know, how it's going to be. And uh, I think for like three or four years, we were like the top ap op episode. Yeah, yeah. Someone said you are still so beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is. Thank of you. course. What, what did they, what did they, guys, come on. I don't look like what 
<laughs> and she's got younger sisters now to help take care of her. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so uh, well, this segment, Miss Devon, I, I feel strange by calling you Bunny. I'm like, I remember this lady growing up when I was like, yeah, that's just I'm so excited. <laughs> but anyway, you can call me I can call you Bunny. <laughs> okay. So, Bunny, this this particular part of the show I, I, is called my uncommon uncommon question. I do ask an uncommon question uh, that has nothing to do with the bio, but it's nothing strange. And your uncommon question for you today is: So, we've been talking about your hits, "A Dream," which is one of your songs. So, my uncommon question for you today is: What was your last dream that you wished was reality? I know. Again, it's uncommon. But tell me, okay. what, what was what your was, last dream? My, my last dream? Dream. Uh-huh. That I wish? That you wished was reality. Yes. Uh -oh. The fact yeah. that um, I still dream to be on stage with my brothers again um, and for us to really be the family that we used to be first and then to uh, come full circle and I believe today that we came from the church and that's where we need to be. Um, and the anointing followed us. So my dream is for us all to be back together again and being every each other's number one fan. Oh, my God. Do you think Hollywood had anything to do with this this temporary separation? The industry? Yeah. Yes, I do. But... Um, we all have choices and we all grow up and we all have responsibility. And um, I've learned mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. Um, so I, I just believe that it's a God thing and I believe that our music is kept to this day um, because the anointing followed us and to God be the glory. Amen. Um, the, our gifts come from God. It's not like we're yeah. these great, great singers or anything, but God used us and we do have a platform. And I believe, and especially in this day and time, the most real thing in the world is, is Jesus. So um, that's Come on I, now. I promote, you know, Come on now. Um, Jesus. But that's my dream, and God knows my dreams. And he said he would give me the desire of my heart. Yeah. And, um, of my heart. And I believe that's his will. Yes. I'm, I'm going to stand in that belief with you because I believe in the same Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that you do. So yes, I am going to stand in belief with you. And when y'all come, oh my gosh, I want to come to that concert too. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a big key for everybody. They want to see that. <laughs> oh yeah, look, here's a, here's a viewer said her nickname is Bunny too. <laughs> oh wow. Beautiful. And she's right. <laughs> that is her nickname. <laughs> I, I know that one. <laughs> oh wow. Well, Bunny, what are you working on now? Do you have any new projects that, well, that you're working on? I'm working on, on my, my third book. And um, I'm working on getting a band together and traveling, maybe doing cruises, doing um, uh, upscale birthday parties. Um, and I'm going to take uh, the songs to another level, going to jazz them up a little bit. So I won't be doing L Show. And maybe one day I'll show up on L Show and do a dream for everyone. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, well, whatever you're involved in, we totally, totally look forward to it. And uh, Thank shut. You. In, in the meantime, um, <laughs> let me let me let me get my cheat sheet out right here. If you are in the Memphis, Tennessee area, Saturday, June eighteenth, you guys make sure that well prior to that, make sure you go to my website www.tinatilton.com to register to win tickets to the classic R and B funk r and b and funk tour saturday june 18th at the showplace arena at the agri center featuring my very special guest right here bunny debarge yes. thank you and they can get my book on my website the official bunny debarge.com i'm also on facebook right. yeah we have it scrolling there. down and there and on instagram bunny debarge Yes, yes. All of that information is right there on the screen. And I hope that they that the viewers become fans of yours. But uh, so and if you don't get an opportunity to win tickets on my website, then you can always purchase your tickets at the www. The, uh, is it the no www.classicrnbandfunktour.com or simply put www.memtickets.com. Again, thank you so much, Miss Bunny DeBodge, for being on as a guest thank with you. me on Take the Children's Blend. Where's your grandbaby? I want to wave at him too. Tell the grandbaby, where's the grandbaby? Where's the grandbaby? Say there goodbye. Hey, y'all. <laughs> 
Thank you all so thank everyone for being on. Good night, baby. <laughs> thank you, Bunny. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> see you soon, Bunny. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye now. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.